Jobs, 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 and jobs. Politicians are eager to do something about jobs. Well, here in California, they found one way to save and create certain kinds of jobs. Public sector unions fight layoffs by getting politically active. If someone wants to cut back spending, you know what the unions will say. We say fight back! But California has been spending and taxing at record rates, and the economy is still lousy. So what now? Tax the rich. I think we have no choice but to raise taxes. The whole state of California would not mind a half a cent more. At this forum in Los Angeles, union members and political candidates fought against job cuts and called on businesses to pay higher taxes. Do your part to lift this thing up and to make this thing This job creation strategy has worked well. California has added more than 160,000 unionized jobs, even as the private sector lost jobs. Raise your hand if you like the governor. Why all the booze? After all, Schwarzenegger likes tax hikes too. In 2009, he signed the largest in state history, and this year Sacramento politicians are pondering more hikes, even though the state already has one of the nation's worst tax climates. We pay their salaries. They wouldn't have jobs if we didn't create our own jobs. Rick Newcomb started Creator Syndicate in Los Angeles in 1987 with the idea that cartoonists should be able to own their work. We syndicated Zorro, Batman, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And from Hillary Clinton to Bill O'Reilly, the company has syndicated many well-known columnists. Today, Newcomb runs Creators with a son, Jack. The company has hundreds of clients, dozens of employees, and one big decision to make. Well, our office lease is up in May 2011, and we have to decide. They might move to a different city or even a different state. We didn't want to leave, but if they don't reverse this, of course we'll leave. There's no, why would we stay? A form of madness, tax madness, has taken over Sacramento. California has one of the nation's highest unemployment rates, but business is pretty good for Joe Vranich. You see, he helps companies move out of California. I would love to have companies calling me saying, you know what, we'd like to move to California. Can you help us with that relocation? I get none of those calls. The calls I do get are, hello, we want to move out of California. Can you help us do that? Whether it was the lure of gold, Hollywood fame, or high-tech fortune, California has long been a destination for those seeking a better life. The Golden State beauty remains, but the state's native-born population has been leaving over the past decade. So many of us have left that it's equivalent to the entire population of the city of San Diego. I probably heard from more than 100 entrepreneurs and business owners who said to me, we are so glad we got out, or we can't wait to get out. Many others have gotten out or expanded out of state, but why would anyone leave all this? There is no one reason that drives companies out of California. If you want to bring businesses to California, let's eliminate this death by a thousand cuts. Lost satellite reception. Traffic congestion, that's one cut. Bad schools, another cut. Housing regulations that lead to boom and bust cycles, another cut. Powerful unions that push for restrictive labor laws, another cut, and on and on it goes. They Xerox their middle finger and they send it to us periodically. <laughs> it's not always government policies that force companies out, but a long legal battle with the city of Los Angeles might end up being the Newcomb's final cut. Los Angeles has a business tax, and in 1993, they wanted to stick us in the highest category, and we fought that. I spent a small fortune on legal fees to win that battle. The city sent the Newcombs this letter, verifying that Creator Syndicate would not be forced into a higher tax rate. But then, in 2008, city officials sent this letter, saying they weren't bound by the original decision, and they were reversing their own ruling. And you can't have these bureaucrats just arbitrarily saying, oh, we're not bound by our own rulings. Not only did the city put Creator Syndicate into a higher tax rate, but officials applied the new decision retroactively demanding $400,000 in back taxes. This is legalized theft. And this is all the paperwork that's accumulated over the 17-year legal fight with the city. It's cost the Newcombs about a million dollars. And it's counting, so it's the, 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 the meter's still running on this. The expensive legal fight has forced the company to lay off two employees, and if the Newcombs do have to pay the $400,000 in back taxes, they'll have to lay off another 10. The people of this town are ready to get back to work. 
LA Mayor Antonio Viragosa likes to talk about job creation, and he's always doing something he hopes will stimulate the economy. With unmatched investments in public transit, unparalleled efforts to grow green. Too bad he didn't want to talk to us, because it's this kind of job strangling red tape that few people hear about until they experience it themselves. Something needs to be done, or businesses will continue. Uh, to take their business elsewhere. For many, that means leaving gorgeous California for homely Texas, the top destination for Americans who move to a different state. You know, we don't have the mosquitoes that they have or the swamps or the humidity. The natural climate might be rough, but the business climate is inviting. Texas, low taxes, or in certain cases like income, no taxes, much fewer regulation, traffic flows better. Texas, throughout the recession, has actually shown growth or at least minimal job loss. Both states added jobs over the past decade. Then the recession hit and Texas leveled off while California hemorrhaged jobs. We are working every single day to spur job creation. But high unemployment persists, even though politicians have been doing so much. Bipartisan economic rescue plan. Green jobs. Cash for clunkers. Health insurance reform became the law of the land. And don't forget about those bailouts and the massive stimulus much of which went to California. I'm so happy that we're getting this kind of benefits uh, from the federal government and from President Obama. Instead of doing so much, what if politicians devoted just one day per year to undoing their worst blunders? It'd be a nice break from the norm, and it might even save and create some jobs. For Reason TV, I'm Ted Balaker.